so tired, but I was on the bus from Mustard to Sarajevo. We were supposed to get the train, but sadly the trains aren't running for the next two weeks. So we caught the first bus, which was at 6.30, and got here about 9, so it wasn't too bad. Um, now we want to go and discover the city, and there are some like free walking tours, so we'll do that at the end of the day. It was heartbreaking. I couldn't stop crying. This um, gallery has really represented everything so well. I just hope people learn from their mistakes and learn to coexist and be kind to each other. So we're joining the free walking tour of Sarajevo and I'll show you everything. The found drinking fountain that was given to us from the Turkish people, from the from the city of Bursa. Okay, the walking tour was really good. It was an uplifting experience after the really, really, really sad museum that we went to. And now, ending our day. With your name, everyone's names. I'm getting one done specially for my name. Yay! information about the city of Sarajevo, what happened. It was still good to go. It depends how much of the history you want to get out of. And the accessible tunnel bit, it was just like two meters and a half, so it wasn't bad. But yeah, and now we're like completely starving, so we came for some food. lucky today to meet some of the Bosnian sisters um, they're all Muslims and they're practicing and it was just so lovely to be invited within their community and circle to see the rest of the girls and to meet them in Arabic means a circle okay so uh, in our case this is a circle of friendship and we unite in our uh, in the way we think and the way we want to improve. <laughs> so Amina, yes. why does it? Why do you have the halakha? Who started it? What happened? Well, Tell me the story. We started together. <laughs> you and Layla. Yes. Um, 
uh, we were in that period um, somehow like I was alone. Okay. And I really needed people who understand me, who, uh, with whom I can share something in common. And that's um, how we met. At the exhibition that I went to, yeah. um, you said it was good to remember these challenges. It's, good, it's a good reminder because we don't face challenges uh, that uh, like people um, faced them during the war. And when I hear such hard stories, um, I really, I'm, first of all, I'm grateful that I didn't went through them. And secondly, if I ever am going to go through such stories, uh, I already have like an example how to deal. I love tea, so I have to say yes, please. This is vanilla cookies tea and it smells heavenly. For, to represent the mother and child of the children who died during the siege in Sarajevo. This is the city center of Sarajevo and you see those two stoplights beside the grey building. This is where the gates of the city used to be and now it's just the city center where like there is the Saudi funded shopping mall and in front of it, there's the American-funded shopping mall. Okay, so it's the tallest building and we're gonna go way up there right now. Is it really fast? Ah, it feels like we're in a like theme park. Oh, oh my goodness. gosh. I'm not scared. <laughs> I was supposed to this on the <laughs> Look at the Sarajevo. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, Sarajevo was a city full of surprises and I love the people I met through Sarajevo and Mostar and some in Croatia. It was just such a good trip and I'm so happy I came to this part of the world. It's just full of surprises. It's so much better than I expected. Not to mention, it's absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the video and it's time for me to leave now and hopefully I would love to come back again. Um, so let me know what you thought of the video down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.